Thanks for joining me again. My name is Stephen Cronin, and if this if this is your first time here, then I'd love to have you subscribe. I've got new videos every weekday, Monday to Friday. This is going to be. I'm going to have a go. It's uh, like a, a winter scene, so I'm going to start off with a, a bit of raw sienna. Um, if you watched last Friday's video, I, 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 I tried to do wet on dry and I really struggled with it. So I'm going back to me, um, what I'm more familiar with, really, just um, wet on wet. So I've soaked the paper all over with clean water. Just because everything just goes nice and soft. Also, I stretch the paper as I uh, as I go along, so you can do it before you start painting. It's entirely up to you. It's just the way I, I prefer to work, really. Um, so I've just been using raw sienna, burnt umber, sorry, um, ultramarine. Now I've got some distant mountains to put in, so I'm just going to use the same two colours. Bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, and this coming. Quite a high rise and line this one. Um, I'm just gonna a little bit of scraping with the car just to make it look like a bit of snow there, just catching the, the peaks. Trying not to overdo it, just trying to keep it subtle really. As with most things, subtle generally works better than uh, overindulging. So the paper has stretched slightly, so I'm just pulling it tight against the board so I've got a flat surface to work with. And then I'm going to take a bit more raw sienna and just suggest a few of the Bits and pieces in the foothills of these uh, distant mountains. A little bit of burnt umber there. Burnt umber, ultramarine, and this is just something just sort of hit and missing as I come down. Gonna be like a little little cottage or something here, so I don't want to come down too far right at this moment. Just dab 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 and I'm just leaving little bits, little gaps. Here and there, that wouldn't too much. Now I'm just going to put in the bottom of where these uh, little cottages are going to go. You know, somewhere, somewhere around there. So you can see all the, the gaps, the bits of unpainted paper. That's uh, I'm trying to give the impression of of snow everywhere I don't paint from now on. Land will be snow. You can see it's just like the the, the light reflecting off the snow. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to switch to the three quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to put the roots on first. So just wet the wet the brush. And I'm going to. 
a bit of oh, sienna, a bit of ultramarine, maybe even a touch of light red just to liven it up a bit. A bit of brown in there, basically, whatever colours you fancy, really. And then I'm going to say we've got the roof across there. Chimney, little chimney there. And what I might do just to just put that bit on the side there, just to suggest. Come back to that in a bit when it's when it's uh, when it's dried a little. So let's just do that brown bit again. I'm going to clean the brush. Just try and get it back to a raw sienna. Bit of burnt umber, bit of ultramarine to really darken it a bit. And then a few little fence posts, that's still a bit, still a bit wet, but paper, I'm just going to pull it flat again. Just coming away from the board, and every time you press down, you can feel it. It's just like sponge. Or... A few little pens posts there with the card. Um, I do want to be that. I want that a little bit drier. No, it doesn't have to be bone dry, but just dry enough so that when I take the the little brush. Which I'm taking now. And I just want to put a little tree in there. Just using a little brush and a few branches here and there. Just flicking it up. Just holding it by the end and then just, just flicking it up. What I want to do, I want to put a path in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dry the brush. I'm just going to go a bit of light red, a bit of ultramarine, a bit of dab of burnt umber. I'm going to think, right, well, the path's going to go somewhere. About there, and across there like that. Real dark stuff, bit of burnt umber, bit of bit of ultramarine. I'm gonna put a, just 
switch into the pizza car now. I'm just going to scrape on a few little rocks. It'll need to be about half dry. If it's too wet, which this is almost too wet, but I'm just about getting away with it. If it's too wet, it'll just fill back in, so you just have to wait for it to dry a little bit or use the air dryer. If it's too dry, obviously, it wouldn't scrape at all. Um, on the other side, being a bit more ultramarine and burnt umber. Just dips and dabs. sticking out from the snow. Right, now I'm going to switch back to the little flat brush, three quarter inch flat. I'm giving a bit of brown, red, blue. I'm mixing them together to make a shadowy colour. And I'm going to I'd say the sun's coming from there, so I'm gonna put this this um side's gonna be have to be in shade in it so Darken those roofs. So I've cleaned the brush, making that shadowy colour again. Just a few little shadows. I'm going to say let's, let's pretend there's someone over there just casting a shadow down there. Yeah, and these fence posts they sort of look like a bit of brown, a bit of blue, dark colour. Up some of it. I'm just trying to catch catch them on the bottom just to create the uh, the shadows. But I'm just going to have to put them in like this, I think. And then I think. Put a figure in. He definitely needs a figure, I think. Um, I'm just giving red and I'll just dab a blue. Right well, then, where should we have the figure? Um, I suppose on the path would be logical. Um, 
Although I quite like over there, I think, just walking up somewhere into the... Oh, it's nice if it's somewhere around here then. Put that in dark, a little dark for the head, and then pop the legs in, and then just by the side of him is his little dog. Oh, I've forgotten the last painting. So there's his, there's his head, and then just pop his little legs in. I'll do something like that. And then, obviously, they're going to need a shadow as well. So, it's continuing in the same direction. A little bit stronger, I can't see that. And a little shadow off the dog. Uh, let's see what it looks like with the mount on. So here's our mounted painting. So if we go in and have a closer look at it, as always, started with the sky and it's just a simple raw sienna ultramarine mix. Um, mountains put in using exactly the same colour and then it's just a little bit of scraping out with the cards just to suggest a bit of snow and form there in the mountains. I've tried to keep it subtle. Just a, a hint of something going on there in the distance. And again in this middle ground just sort of dab 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 with the brush. Various mixes of uh, same colours again with a bit of um, burnt umbra in there and you see whether the gaps the gaps between all these marks just suggest the, uh, where the snow lies. I mean, the, the white of the paper obviously comes in very handy for uh, suggesting snow. The hardest part is just controlling the brush and not, not going balmy with it. Don't don't paint everything. Put these little cottages. I've done the shadows a bit too strong. I didn't mean to do them that strong, um, but never mind. Then we've got a few more shadows here done from the fence post. If it's done right, you can just sort of pull a finger across the bottom and it'll just pull the paint down and sort of do all the shadows for you. If you don't quite come off, then you'll just have to put them in manually. Bit of rigor work there, just a simple little tree on this side with all its leaves lost, just to add a bit of interest. We've got a few little rocks there scraped out, a few on the right hand side, a few more on the left, covered in amongst all the other sort of mud and snow. A quick sweep of the hike, and we've just got a very simple little winding path with our little figure just walking his dog. Don't forget the shadow back to her uh, back home. Finally, the little bird flying there off over the mountains and into the distance. So, thanks for watching. Um, this, as well as all my other paintings, you'll find in my eBay store. They're all in 10 day auctions if you want to. Um, have a go bidding for any of them if you want to help me out with a few sales you can help me by liking and commenting sharing the videos um, I'll be back tomorrow with another painting so until then thanks for watching keep practicing and I'll see you again soon